Hey, it's Brian with That Wrestling Podcast. Now, if you follow me on Twitter, you've seen that I've been reviewing the introductions of every single WrestleMania. I've covered them all from 1 to 36 and have come up with my five favorite WrestleMania introductions. So I'd like to present to you my personal five count, my top five favorite WrestleMania introductions. Number five. WrestleMania 17. Regarded as the best mania of all time, the introduction gets things started the right way. It's narrated by WWF legend Classy Freddy Blassie and has a completely over-the-top presentation on the appeal of WrestleMania around the world. We get scenes of people watching Mania on the farm, at an Asian food stand, from the backseat of a car. Who does that? It feels like a scene in a movie from like Armageddon or Independence Day where everyone is gathered around to hear how we have to join together to beat those aliens. So yeah, it's over the top, but it's fun. And I get the thought that the wrestling is a community that people all across the globe enjoy. The video package ends and we go inside the Astrodome, which is packed for an event that deserves a big stadium crowd. It's a great start for WrestleMania 17. Number four. WrestleMania 9. Now, WrestleMania 9 is one of the worst manias of all time. What with the whole Yokozuna challenging Hulk and Hulk walk, walking out with the belt and all that. But this introduction was completely outside the box from anything they've done before, and it played to the theme of the world's largest toga party at Caesar's Palace. So we get intros for Caesar and Cleopatra. We get elephants. We get Bobby Heenan riding backwards on a camel. And it's all outdoors at Caesar's Palace. Plus, it's the WWF debut for Jim Ross. And I'm sure he wished he was back on WCW Saturday night when he found out he was going to be wearing a toga on his first day at his new job. So again, the intro for Mania 9 looks great. It's incredibly creative. But stop if you're going to watch it, because after it's over, it's all downhill from there. Number 3. WrestleMania 33. We go live to the Citrus Bowl in Orlando, Florida for WrestleMania 33. This mania had a tagline called the ultimate thrill ride, and the video package was spectacular in showing that theme. After a fine singing of America the Beautiful by Tina Shea and a jet flyover, the video package begins showing how fans all across the world travel for WrestleMania. It's really well done and is a cool focus on how special the event is to so many people. They then show people getting on a roller coaster, and while it's going up, you see clips of classic mania moments. Then the coaster goes down, and the riders see moments of all the main players for the show. You've got like AJ Styles, Shane McMahon, Goldberg, Brock, New Day, Triple H, Charlotte. It's really well done. It's really creative. So then the video ends, and we're now back in the Citrus Bowl, and immediately hear Big E with his, Oh, Orlando! Your host, The New Day, they come on out, they set the stage, they pump up the crowd, and E has a great line. He goes, it's time to pull our levers, which Kofi, de <laughs> Kofi deems inappropriate, but he meant the lever for the ultimate thrill ride. You see the roller coaster ride on the set. It's really cool, and that's how Mania 33 begins. Number two. WrestleMania three. The Pontiac Silverdome was the host for wrestling's most historic match, and after the Mania 3 logo was on the screen, we cut to an upper deck shot of the 93,000 plus in the Silverdome. It's absolutely amazing. You've got Vince McMahon in the middle of the ring and he welcomes everyone. The crowd is so hyped. And it's so cool to see that size of crowd, especially in the daylight. Vince gives the big intro to the queen of soul, Miss Aretha Franklin. He's just so good at these with his, his energetic, rough voice. And Aretha performs America the Beautiful on piano on a stage in the entrance ramp with three backup singers. A little patriotic imagery is mixed in, especially like construction, manufacturing, which makes sense being in the backyard of the Motor City. Aretha finishes and Gorilla welcome, welcomes us to the broadcast booth with Jesse, Bob Euchre, and Mary Hart. They set the stage and Mary Hart has a line that uh, made me raise my eyebrows. She goes, I can tell you're pumped up, Jesse, standing this close to you. Naughty, naughty, Mary, naughty, naughty. And history is about to be made at WrestleMania 3. Number one. My number one is WrestleMania 6. Now, this is the first time WrestleMania was held outside of the U.S. We are in Toronto, Canada at the Sky Dome. 
and Vince in his classic gruff voice provides the voiceover for images of star constellations. His voice is so gruff. And he shows the two most powerful images, Hulk Hogan and the Ultimate Warrior. They are literally stars in the sky. It's the ultimate challenge. It's WrestleMania, complete with the theme music that you're hearing now that I absolutely love. Uh, Gorilla and Jesse, they welcome us to the Sky Dome. 65,000 people in attendance. And then the Fink introduces Robert Goulet for the performance of the Canadian national anthem, O Canada. O Canada is great. It's a wonderful anthem. He performs it beautifully, and they put on a bunch of Canadian patriotic images in there as well. I get chills watching this. Bravo and rest in peace, Robert Goulet. And then Jesse kills me at the end. He goes, Robert Goulet reminds him of Axl Rose. And Gorilla goes, who? And Jesse says, Guns N' Roses. And Gorilla goes, oh, that Axel. It cracks me up every time. And this introduction, like I said, it just has a little bit of everything. You've got the -the over-the-top analogy of Hulk and the Warrior saying they're star constellations. Vince Vince in his uh, classic gruff voice. A huge crowd, an amazing anthem performance, and a hilarious moment with Gorilla not knowing who Axel Rose is. There it is, my number one WrestleMania intro of all time, WrestleMania 6. So let us know what you think. You like my list? You hate my list? Do you have a personal favorite you want to tell us? Hit us up on all our socials. And of course, check out That Wrestling Podcast with a new episode every Friday, wherever you get your podcast. Plus, our WrestleMania recap show is going to be out this Monday. Enjoy WrestleMania, everybody.